All right, we're down on the court with the players. First of all, thank you guys for putting yourselves out there, for battling hard. You know, it was super entertaining, dramatic uh, to watch. A lot, a lot of good momentum shifts back and forth. Um, I'm curious, we had a lot of discussion up top, Olive, about your forehand versus your backhand. Yeah. Uh, we were curious, in general, which one do you usually prefer and like by how oh, much? Oh, def definitely my forehand. Yeah. I'd say like in matches, like in my lifetime, probably, I probably hit like 65 to 70 percent like forehands versus like backhands. Um, today, um, I was making contact kind of late with the forehand a lot or not finishing hard enough um, coming around the ball. So I was hitting, hitting a lot of balls long, I think. Um, that's what it felt like. So uh, backhand was definitely steadier today, and it was, it was doing good. I really like the backhand down the line, um, and I really like forehands, pulling forehands cross court as like a aggressive shots or, yeah. No. Yeah. 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 yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't really tell. Yeah. I wasn't no, sure. Really. Your, yeah. your ball was really hard. Yeah, we were kind of debating yeah. it up in yeah. the booth. Like, yeah, yeah, the, the, the ball like, striking on the backhand yeah. was yeah. so clean. Yeah, yeah. 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 The I, line was... yeah. I would say my forehand today was not top notch. Um, yeah. yeah, I really wish that. I, yeah, I was hitting a lot of balls that I was like aiming for like more cross court angle, where like going straying towards like the middle. So mm -hmm. I mean, it's better than straying wide. Right. Yeah. So, can you, Olive? Can you talk a little bit about just like the experience being on this court, both from like a court conditions perspective and then like, you know, being in a foreign environment, yeah. you know, all this stuff going on. Yeah, for sure. So I would say like, um, it's really dry in here. And I think that's uh, <laughs> contributing to like my breathing issues. Like I was really recovering well from like the lung stuff that I had, you know, back in like starting in like, like October. Um, but today it felt like kind of a, a little regression and I think it's because it's maybe dry or like whatever maybe it's just left over from the flight um, but um, the court itself is pretty fast combined with how heavy like the diadem balls are um, makes it it's really satisfying to get like good like ball striking but at the same time like if you are off by a little bit it's pretty the consequences on your like stroke or on your shot are like pretty pretty tough pretty significant so yeah um, I like playing in this. Uh, I'm looking forward to playing tomorrow. Like, after, you know, having uh, gotten a little bit more accustomed to the conditions. Yeah. Anything in, so like in the court conditions, in the way that you played your tennis today, anything that like will alter what you may have expected coming forward tomorrow in terms of how you want to play? Um, hmm, good question. Um, the court, Actually, I feel like it makes it slightly easier for me to get to balls because I end up, I think, on it's like drop shots and like low shots that I end up um, kind of not get not preparing for when when it comes to like shots my opponents hit. So um, the way that the ball continues traveling off of the surface uh, lets me get to those balls a little bit more more easily, more often. Um, so that's kind of nice about it. I would say. Um, there's not much particularly that I would change like about my game um, to suit the conditions. Uh, I think it suits me like it's um, it's helpful for like serving, uh, being aggressive on the serve. It's uh, helpful for being aggressive like from the baseline and finishing points. So yeah, no, I like I like it here. Minus the breathing, yeah. yeah. Yep. The whole yeah. oxygen yeah. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Up there, it seemed like there was a lot of like like a back and forth that, that nobody ever really. I mean, you kind of think you won four games in a row at one point, but yeah. nobody ever really had a a strong grip on control. And I mean, and, and and one of the things that I know the way you play, Adam, is that you you tend to like like to hand people the rope and say, "Here, hang yourself." And you were doing a good job of it, but then you came back and 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 stopped him from doing that. And and I, I want to know what was going on 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 the on the ebbing side of those for both of you. What were you thinking? Yeah. Um... I really struggle playing in that kind of match where it's just like, you know, I, I, I play well, you know, get a, a couple quick games in a row and then all of a sudden I have no chance for, for two games. And, and I thought like, I kept sort of waiting to take control and like, you know, get further and further ahead. But then like you would rattle off like a really solid game and, yeah. and like just hit winners all over the place. So. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, then that kind of got to me, you know, mentally a little bit. Then I would, I would start thinking of maybe a little bit of a, 
different strategy and then I would kind of get messed up for another game and and so yeah it's just it's really tough for me to to play in that that kind of match so it was good for me because it was definitely different from the other matches that I've had on this channel oh, cool. um you know as, as far as like He's used to beating all of us easily, basically. <laughs> <laughs> or, or just like never really being in control. I mean, like with Scott, with Scott yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, so, yeah, a lot of, lot of back and forth. And that kind of was wearing on me, um, you know, mentally. It's unusual a bit. to see you rattled. Yeah. We were talking yeah. a lot about that because you're generally so tenacious. Well, what was it about that particular in the second set? Like, it looked like you had a total stranglehold. You were up 3 0, uh, two breaks. And then all of a sudden it looked like you just kind of took a nosedive uh, emotionally. What, what was it about that? Yeah, I mean, you, you just started playing yeah, super I wanna solid. Yeah, I want to take credit for that one. Yeah, 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 that, that, yeah, that's like, all it was, is that you, like just, you, you just like ate a power pill and we're yeah. like, just like <laughs> super yeah, and I, and I, In my head, I was kind of thinking like, all right, like, you know, she's, she's probably thinking like she's down 3-0, she's just going to start going for it. And, yeah. you know, when, when sometimes when players have that, like, I'm down 3-0 in the second set. Like, I'm just going to loosen up and hit my shots. Like, a lot of times that can be very dangerous for the person that's up, you know, because there's kind of that, like, a little bit of that carefree, you know, mentality. But, like, you know, it, luckily for you, like, all those shots were, were really clicking, and, it, and it's just frustrating to be on the other side of that when, like, you're so close to just, you know, getting off the court in, like, 15 minutes, yeah. you know? <laughs> and, and so, and so, yeah. And so, yeah. And so, you know, that yeah, was, we it's hard to finish. It's that. hard to finish. Yeah, yeah. We discussed that. Up yeah. There. yeah, it felt like the match was about to be over a couple times, mm -hmm. and then is is that kind of like a core trait of yours, Olive, to like yeah. find another gear and like just figure out a way to extend and extend and pressure? Yeah. Well, I would say honestly, that's like a new thing for me. Usually, like in the past, I would, if I was down or if it was like a tight situation for too long, I would collapse. Um, just because I wouldn't have like the mental stamina to like continue at that intensity. Um, today, I would say um, when I was feeling good, it was, or when I was playing well, uh, a lot of it had to do with like being able to settle into like the physical like patterns that I needed to do in order to like maintain like my my breathing. And so when I could like when I could block out the kind of like anxiety or like the the pain or like the lack of strength like I was feeling from like not breathing enough um that was like when I could hit shots I think like in the first set too it happened where it was like you know three points in a row I'd be like boom 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 I'm playing good and then kind of collapse for another like few points um and that's like a that's like a focus thing on my part it's good playing on your part because you're always keeping up the pressure um but those like four games in the second set was like we had a long changeover after a brief changeover, right? So I got a little bit more rest, ate like 10 M&Ms. Um, <laughs> nice. And yeah, all bills. Yeah, <laughs> and so, bills. yeah so, it, so that that helps me. Um, it's like the mental, it's like the focus, right? You, like I was telling you yesterday, like I need to focus up really hard, like at the beginning of each point. And um, if I don't, if that doesn't happen, then it's like 50-50, I might just shank a ball into like the stands, right? So yeah, yeah. so against you, like I have to do it constantly. Um, so it was like wearing on me. Um, yeah. How annoyed were you with the high loopy? <laughs> or, Honestly, or were you just taking it in stride? I mean, I was, you know, I'm annoyed, but it's not really like, oh, like, like <laughs> you, Adam. Like, you're hitting. it's obvious that it's a good strategy, right? You so play, I'm like, play tennis. Yeah, yeah. Good. I mean, I'm like, no, it's like good job. Like, you, if you hit a, if you hit a ball and it like, you know, hits the tape and it goes over, I'm like, that's a good shot. Like, whatever, you know. Um, and so it's like the same thing where it's like you're gonna do what it takes to win. And I was missing a lot of those cause I, those because I was like, you know, I was lazy or like it was I was tired. Right. So I was it's like, not, ball too. yeah. So like, I was like wasn't moving to it. Like I knew that I was like, you know, I could go up and take it early with two hands or I could run back and hit it with two hands and like get back into the point. Or I could just stand here and, and slice it. <laughs> You know, Scott and, and Tover were debating like which one of those they, they thought you mm -hmm. should do. Yeah. Yep. Um, pro I mean, anything in hindsight, you, I would you say think? I would say in my in this state, I would probably be better off going back to to hit it, hit like a neutral defensive ball, give myself some more time, give myself some more time because I'll hit it back and like gives me more time to get back into the point and then go, you know, if I see it come again, take that one out of the air yeah. or no. um, or if it's if, or if it's it short, hey, or if it's yeah, short, yeah. go up and, and yeah. try to make something aggressive yeah, out of yeah. it. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, like I feel like those kind of rallies aren't like a big.
they shouldn't be like a big danger to me. Like I should be either hitting one ball and getting back in or running around it or getting up to it and like hitting a ball that's slightly more aggressive that you can't hit like a, a moon ball on it and then getting back into the point from there. So that's what I should Easier be Easier said than done. Though, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, so. <laughs> A uh, question for Adam. Um, yeah. So, Adam, what would you say was like your favorite pattern today? What you were looking to execute today, based on based on the looks that you got from Olive? Um, I was trying to get more into the slice type of rally, yep. you know. So, um, uh, you know, whenever we started kind of slicing and and sort of you know maneuvering around the court on short angled shots, like I was liking my position there. Um, I was I was really looking to get more looks off of my first serve. Um, I, I mean, I was mentioning to Scott right after this, like I, I think I had one volley the whole match and I, I missed it. And uh, normally I normally I, I serve and volley a lot more. I can get to the net a lot more. Um, you know, kind of mixed in with like the moon ball scrappy stuff. Uh, but like you know, I, I was looking for more of those kind of patterns where I could come in, um, you know, serve, do side, you know, serve out wide. And a lot of times I get a slice and I come in and hit a volley, but like you were so good at uh, flattening out every return, no matter where, where I was serving, it didn't really make any sense for me to come in. So yeah, um, yeah I was just trying to get, in, get into the uh, junk ball type rallies. Mm -hmm. So, uh, oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> no, 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 here's the big one. Okay. 5-5, five, five, oh, 30 40, he's going second there. set. He's going there. What happened? You want it from me or you want it from me? I want both of you. I want it. Want, want, want. I mean, let's, I'm, let's, let's you're talking about that ball? I think if you look at the video, I'm standing like, yeah, you know, yeah. six feet from it. And, you know, in general, like, I think my calls are pretty, pretty generous. And I've been trying to work on that. Um, <laughs> but at the same time, I like, I thought it was, I thought it was out. And honestly, the fact that you were like that you disagreed and like um what is it insisted on disagreeing made me like really embarrassed i was like oh my god did i like act did i actually like hook him <laughs> um it actually it kind of <laughs> with me the next game um Adam, was, that a, was that a like, no it wasn't did you, I mean, really, did you really think it was uh, did you I, really think it was a bad call or were you just trying to no like, like i i thought i from my position, like I, I thought it was in and okay. and, and the in the heat and, and nothing, you know, against you or whatever, oh, but yeah, like yeah. In, in the in the heat of the moment, like, you know, when, when that happens, like you, you can tend to let the emotions get the yeah. best of you in a competitive match and I mean that's what So you weren't just trying to like stir up like <laughs> No, I I, th I I definitely thought at first it was going wide, but had so like I kinda shanked it and I, I thought it I thought it landed in. I felt I, I did feel a little little bad about that after, so I no, it's okay, yeah. apologize for that. And we should be uh, honest at this point. We don't have a no, good no. look at we it don't yet. Know. We don't so know. We don't Play know. the replay right now. We're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Yeah. 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 I felt kind of empowered to ask that question because everybody knows, you know, my history with, with calling, okay? <laughs> I, I have, I've, I've made a call that has uh. been widely, you know, Proven to be incorrect. Proven to be incorrect. Okay. Okay. And, and I, I, you know, we all do it. Okay. It, it's a heat of the battle thing. And I'll be you know, watching you tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no. Believe me, I, I will be like. <laughs> I think it was in. You know, right there. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be playing everything. Olive, okay? stick yeah. to your guns yeah. on your calls. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Don't okay. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't use the, uh, for me. I didn't no. use the Ira mentality where I was, I was like, no, like you know? what was that? What was that? Yeah. Okay. yeah. But I mean, the fact is, is that we all do it, and it, it's, you know, that. I'm not reveling in your misfortune, but it just make me, makes me feel like, oh gosh, I'm I am human. I'm not a bad person. Yeah. You know. I mean, I was. It. it was very nice of you to to replay it. I was just gonna mm -hmm. eventually go to the other side, but, um, you know. Yeah, you felt. You, I I felt like you were personally very offended. I was like, it's it's okay. It's a it's a. We're here for <laughs> we need to toughen yeah. her up. Yeah. <laughs> if you're gonna get that WTA point, we, we got we got we got work on that. <laughs> just drop the gloves. Yeah. <laughs> All right, any final thoughts, guys, before we sign off from, uh, from the players? Any final uh, observations or messages or anything? 
Um, yeah, I mean, great, great plan. That was that was fun. It was That's a different fine. different sort of match, and I knew like uh, if I was going to be, you know, just just banging from the baseline, you know, with Olive, I was going to be in a be in a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> so I was just doing everything I I could to to mix it up a little bit, and and yeah, it was a roller coaster of emotions for sure, which is a first for me on this channel, I'd say. Yeah. yeah. Um, Against uh, Ira, you didn't have this. It, no, the same I, was, challenge? I was just kind of like w against against Ira. I mean, you know, it was just like, you know, what what can I do? He just kept hitting corners with his <laughs> forehand. You know, that was, yeah. you know, I just kind of was was accepting it. But um, it was it was it was very difficult for for me to like maintain composure when you're playing super well for a couple of games, and then you know maybe when you're you know not playing as well for for a yeah. couple of games, like yeah. that, it was just tough for me to. Hey, welcome to my world. Stay steady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, it was a lot of fun, though. Yeah, no, it was fun. I would say, like, I'm a streaky player in general. What you said about, you know, handing your opponent the rope yeah. and um, letting them, you know, step off the chair themselves. Yeah. I was like, you know, one foot on the whole time. <laughs> uh, and that's, that's what, uh, you know, I feel like that's something I've always, like, had to work on. And now, instead of jumping off immediately, I'm like slowly, like testing it before. Keeping it excited. Two fingers, yeah. Two fingers yeah. in the rope, they're like this. Yeah, yeah. So no, it was a good match. It was really fun. It was a it was. good, good practice for me. Um, it's really good for me to play like strangers. You know, somebody I haven't played before. So um, yeah, it was a really fun match. For sure. Well, thank you, yeah. Adam and yeah. Olive again. Everybody, make sure to go subscribe to Olive yeah. at Olive TV on YouTube. Tomorrow, the opponent is Scott. Let's go. Let's get it on. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a slug fest. Yeah. <laughs> that's, basically, it's just going to be rock and sock and box. That's, that's the plan. <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. All right, thanks.